Hello, my name is Terry. My call sign Golf 4 Papa Oscar Papa <coughs> G4 POP. Today's tutorial is about making a very simple award, maybe for your local club. So, first of all, we'll go to the QS uh, Award Manager, open the Award Manager, and we're going to create a new award. Uh, this one is for a, a diploma club uh, in Germany. We'll call it uh, Dick underscore club. And if you want to <coughs> put the, a name in, the award name in there, a description, uh, <coughs> URL, where the website is for that award, you can do so. I'll save time by not bothering with that. This award is valid for any country, so I'll tick all the boxes in every country and it's available for any mode but only for HF so we'll just pick out the HF bands there now we'll go on to the award type this is using a reference which you'll see me import in a minute so we select reference it could be on a QSO field, it could be you might want to search on a, a particular um, active field, you can do that, or just on a call sign. I'm going to choose reference. Confirmation type is going to be by a QSL and it's validated by a QSL. And this would be where the references would be once the award is completed. So we'll go to import and we're going to import the CSV file which is called D Dicky Club 2. It's a comma separated file and we'll preview that file. There you can see the contents of the file. The, the membership number and the call sign of the member separated by a comma. So we'll use the membership number as a reference code and we'll use the call sign as a description don't need to borrow with anything here because we're just importing a normal file and <coughs> we will import the, the file. You can see it's, it's rushing through and uh, importing that. There are some uh, 6,000 odd um, members in this club so it takes a little while and if you're reading that even though it's going fast it's saying DXCC not found that's because there's no DXCC country number in the file. Doesn't matter because I've selected every country in the awards screen. Then so we just have to let that go through. What's this going through? Just point out that on the left hand side here you can see loads of awards um, that are pre constructed, default awards if you like, that are supplied with Lock for OM. Everything from uh, the USA Counties Award and the VK Shires through DXCC, IOTA obviously, uh, SOTA and uh, many others worked all Britain. So there's uh, a huge uh, number of awards that you can get and the programs are clever enough to be able to scan your uh, comments field or all the fields in your QSO uh, file uh, to find references for the awards and automatically insert them in the right place. So you haven't got a lot of manual work to do. It's all fairly automatic. You'll see the counts are showing that we're up to 1,300, 1,400 QSOs and it's still uh, running through. But it uh, will take a little while. I will pause whilst this uh, carries on. As you can see, it's still thundering along up to 6,100 QSOs at the moment and uh, still going almost there. Might take a second now. Yeah. 
there you go. 6,569 records in ported. Operation complete. Click OK. And if we go back to the references file, you'll see there's too many items to, to be displayed at once, so we'll just do a quick search for one DIG item 1019. And see, that's found the reference. Which if you look over here, here's the call sign EA3SA. So we know it's working, let's look it up. Go back to the award info. All completed there, so we can save the award. There we go. And if you look in the left hand column here, we now have an award called Dicky Club. It's green because it's a user award and it's, uh, it's not uh, locked like the other ones are. So we could uh, lock an award if we wanted to. So we'll close that window down and uh, we'll just uh, have a look at how it works. We'll put in a call sign here. EA7 AA. Doesn't matter what it is, just for the purposes of this. Go to the awards. In the awards, Dicky Club. And the guy's given us a number. D I G. Oops. Item 1019. And there he is. Had that award. In there. And uh, that's all you need to do. To save the award, your job is done. But uh, let's just have a a quick look at the file that uh, that award was created from. It's on my desktop in this folder here. And if we open it up, you'll see it's just a straightforward comma saturated value file. You can construct this in Notepad or Word. Uh, it must have a, a reference at the front. Um, preferably not just a number, because a lot of awards have just a number. It's due a uh, it would search on everything then. I would give it a unique code like dig or whatever. Uh, followed by the member's call sign. But quite a straightforward uh, file. Nothing complicated about it. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. And look out for other ones in the future.